in Idaho, and we are Spring Bear Hunting. I'm Gordon Eastman, who produced this True Life outdoor adventure film on hunting, fishing, and wildlife. Wilderness adventure and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. Our family's been hunting and filming out west for over 60 years. And these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Cryptic, Savage, and Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Hey folks, welcome to Eastman's Hunting TV. Today I have a special guest and a treat for you. We're in Idaho and we are spring bear hunting. Something I have never done. I've actually never spring bear hunted because of various reasons. I got Brandon here. We both have tags. This is a, a season you can hunt any weapon. We're gonna try and find two giant bears and uh, we have a special guest, Butch Whiting. We got a lot of country to cover, so we're, we're employing some special equipment. Butch is bringing it up. Butch. What's up, my Wyoming Cowboys? <laughs> Welcome to Idaho. Thank you, my friend. Brandon, oh, sir. good to see you. Josh, could you find a, a more picturesque place, please? It's, yeah, it's pretty epic, right? This is amazing. Hell's Canyon is right there, pretty iconic, and this is some super mean country. These tributaries feed down into Hell's Canyon, and there's a lot of bears in here. We're going to see a lot of bears. Well, I hope to uh, be able to take a couple bears and help your elk population and, yeah. and uh, do our part we, in managing. We appreciate you boys from Wyoming coming to help us save some elk calves. That's what <laughs> this is all about. <laughs> well, we got some stuff to do, right? Yeah, we got to get going. Let's roll. All right. We turn up a few small bears on our first evening hunt, 
but nothing I'm quite ready to punch my tag on just yet. This portion of the show has been brought to you by Baku eBikes, the scent free way to get you farther, faster. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer Electro Optics, Cryptic Battlefield to Backcountry, Savage, where better comes standard. Welcome back. I'm Ike Eastman. I'm in Idaho this week with Brandon Mason hunting spring bears. Bow in hand, Brandon is trying to close the distance on a bear we spotted in a pocket of timber in a drainage just next to the bait. Let's see how sneaky Brandon is. That evening, we changed it up a bit. Brandon took up position in a tree stand next to the bait. I took a perch across the canyon where we had been seeing bears before. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal presents advanced tips and tactics. Brought to you by Eastman's Tag Hub. Your hunt starts here. What's going on with Cryptic? What's new? Where'd you guys come from? I know, I know you're a veteran-owned company. And I love that about you guys. Yeah, I mean, our slogan, Battlefield to Backcountry, precisely describes what Cryptic is. We're a bunch of former soldiers that absolutely love the backcountry and love hunting and that's how cryptic was formed is 
uh, when we were deployed downrange and we were missing multiple hunting seasons back to back, both Iraq and Afghanistan, we would daydream about how cool it would be to be in the outdoor industry. And really our story, the cryptic story with Eastman starts before crypto even existed because, you know, my wife would send me care packages with Eastman magazines and I basically lived vicariously through those magazines uh, when I was deployed and we, we lived through those stories and, and those hunting experiences that we weren't able to have while we were downrange fighting our nation's battles. And so, you know, the bond with Eastman's and Cryptic is, uh, is pretty significant. Your, your dad served in the military. A lot of people don't know that. The biggest thing with the alignment with Cryptic and Eastman's is our mentality and philosophy with regards to how we see this nation and also how we view uh, the future for our hunting rights. Yep. And Eastman's led the, the charge on protecting this, uh, this culture and uh, you know this big game hunting um, that we treasure so much. And so in terms of brand alignment, there's nothing that is more authentic and original. Eastman's in general is now you know, running cryptic gear yeah. And we're uh, excited about that. You know, we're kind of known for our camo patterns, which we developed specifically for the U.S. military. But ultimately, it's about how the gear performs. You guys and, hunt and you use your gear constantly. There's a lot of brands out there that are hunting brands that don't hunt. It was the whole purpose of the brand was because we wanted to be immersed in doing what we're doing right now. There's a lot of great products that are on the mountaineering side but they're also completely woke anti-hunting yep. brands. Yep. And so when you, I see those brands, I know as a hunter or a fan of Cryptic wearing those brands, I'll point it out to them and say, you know, when you buy that product, they're anti-hunting. Yeah. They say they get behind conservation, but that conservation is anti-hunting. Yeah. And yeah, they don't- They're not conservation, they're preservation as yeah. if we're not supposed to touch it. Hunting's always been under attack and Eastman has led that front and I personally think that it's from a broad perspective. Eastman's as a whole is the culture as a whole. Yeah. And you guys do all those things. You, and so do we, right? Yep. Stay in the field longer, awesome gear. But then at the end of the day, where do our beliefs uh, align? Eastman's Bowhunting Journal is brought to you by Zamberlin, discover the difference. Eastman's Tag Hub, your hunt starts here. This is Eastman. Brandon Mason just arrowed a bear at a very close range. However, the evening's not done yet. Let's see if I can find a bit bigger bear and notch my first spring bear tag. Anybody still see him? I can still see him. I can see his heat signature in that tree. The one that the trail comes out the bottom? Yes. He's right in the tree. 
coming out to the left. To the left? Yeah, he went in on the right, or on the left, and he's coming back out. He's just standing there in the tree. I can't see him. Now he's cutting down. I think this tree's in my way. Yeah. There he is. To take our game from the field to the freezer and everything in between, Eastman's Hunting TV depends on the razor sharp replaceable blade knives and game processing sets that get the job done fast from Outdoor Edge. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. Black Rifle Coffee Company, fueling your mission. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Your stories, your photos, your magazine. Welcome back to Eastman's. I'm Mike Eastman, and this week we're in Idaho hunting spring black bears. Well, it's the next day, we're gonna go get the bears, load them up, take them back, and process them at the state of the art processing center. That is at the place we're staying. So, Ike's Bear is down here. We had an exciting evening last night. Ike's Bear is down here and uh, died right next to the river, and he's big. We're gonna go get him first. <laughs> Eastman's Hunting Strategies is brought to you by Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Okay, so we're about through clearing trails. You can hear what we're doing in the background. We're getting close to uh, where the bear is. We left him last night. We found him. That's where that black X is. Um, Ike's bear is down there. But as you can see, I took, I've got it really zoomed in and I didn't pre-download the tiles, but my points, my waypoints I took last night when we were blood trailing in the dark are still there. And I did that just in case we would lose the trail in the dark last night and have to come, out, come back out this morning to recover them. Um, then we would have a good uh, point of reference in case it rained or we couldn't find the blood trail again. And uh, it's actually starting to rain just a little bit right now, but um, it's just a handy tool to use. Um, you think you'll remember where you found all that spot, but you get down in this forest and everything starts looking the same pretty much. And uh, this way we could hop on the trail if we needed to it, needed to, and find uh, the animal this morning. We know where he's at, so I took a point of that too, just to make sure. And I'll just check in reference for how close we're getting. We're getting close. He's a little ways down the road. We can get the side-by-sides down this old road. Uh, we're on private property here, so it's not like we need a permit to do this and we're gonna get as close as we can because he's a great big bear. We're gonna load him whole, take him back to the ranch we're staying at and uh, process him that way, so it'll be a little easier. Well, welcome back. We are uh, the next morning. We're down in this creek bottom and we recovered him last night, set him up and uh, left him just because it's, this is not gonna be a fun pack out. This is predator control at its finest. We found bears, a bunch of bears, different times. And then finally last night, right before dark, this big old bruiser comes flying down the hill and you can tell they're big when he's just doing this number coming down off the hill. And uh, I made a shot that was a little shorter than I thought, actually. It was on the 300, 350 range and uh, worked out perfectly.
One, two, three, go. Got it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. I hope you got that on video. The best I got part a, I got a mouthful of vape off. Well, here we are. This is the uh, morning after I shot this bear. Uh, we found it last night, thankfully. It expired pretty quickly, and we were able to come back in first thing uh, this morning and, and do the recovery, uh, get some good photos to show it off to everybody here on, on camera. And it's just been fun coming out here to Idaho and helping control the predator population and hanging out with cryptic guys. As always, just remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next time right here on Eastman's. What is it? 260.